Hey guys, Joshua Kadamu here with another Star Wars toy review, and today we're reviewing Mon Mothma. This, she's from Revenge of the Sith. I think this figure came out in 2011. She's a Republic Senator. One of the things that is noteworthy, praiseworthy of the Star Wars toy line, or just maybe a mad money grab, I'm not sure which, is that they take the obscure characters even, you know, the ones that aren't really out in the battlefield fighting or shooting, and then give them characters. And that's always really fun. It's kind of reminds me of how, like, G.I. Joe and things like that, you never had a girl to save. And there, you know, there was no one to rescue. <laughs> Unless you're rescuing Scarlet, but, you know, that girl could take care of herself better than any of the other G.I. Joes, so, you know. Well, let's get her open and check it out. So, Mon Mothma, member of the Galactic Senate, Mon Mothma is troubled by the expanding power of the Supreme Chancellor Palpatine. She secretly begins to assemble groups that will eventually become the Rebel Alliance. The back of our packaging shows all kinds of cool characters that you can also buy. Some of them also senators. It's got a little piece of paper advertising figures. She looks really cool. The sculpt is nice. Good hair. Not exactly sure what she's holding, as I haven't seen the movie in a while. But uh, she's holding, you know, either a magic screwdriver from Doctor Who or, you know, Mickey Mouse's uh, wizard stick or something else. <laughs> Got this cool hat, helmet. I'm not sure if it's a helmet. It might just be kind of like a crown. I'm not sure. She dresses pretty weird. And they say, oh, my arm! Arm comes out of socket, just so you know. <laughs> arm can turn 360 degrees. Apparently that's kind of a weak point on the figure. Her hands can turn also. Head is on a ball joint, so it can look up and down and around. Pretty short hair. Soft, flexible material for the outfit. The legs... Don't have any articulation. The feet have little peg holes, but they don't work. <laughs> like because of the high heels, like like no one tested this when they were producing the toy. You know, they they thought, ah, oh, we'll put peg holes into the feet, but where they should have put them was right here. That's where they should have put them. They should have just made the tops of the front of the feet a little thicker. It's probably why they put them up there, but they don't connect. High heels stop them. She comes with this amazing piece of flooring. Probably there's other guys from this toy line that come with it. Probably builds some kind of huge, massive piece. Boy, that would be so cool. But, uh, good luck finding them all. Especially when this is from 2011. Oh my goodness. Still, that would be absolutely amazing to have a whole hallway made out of that stuff. She's a good figure. She, like I said, she's one of the more obscure figures that you don't really expect to see. But Star Wars has always done a good job at that. You know, even Uncle Owen, Aunt Beru, and, you know, all kinds of cool stuff. And I applaud them for it, even if it does come from a mad money grab. I love that they make these more obscure figures. Thank you, Hasbro. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe as I post a new toy review every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and occasionally randomly. And check out my eBay store. There's a link down below in the morning for you. And sometimes the things I review end up there. See you guys later.